Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a little bit shorter. This is going to be a review of the Goose Creek Gingerbread Milkshake Candle. So I do have it right here to show you guys. I've been burning it for like the past couple of weeks of December and I figured I'd bring you guys a review because I think in my opinion this was like one of the most exciting ones they brought out this winter in their collections and I have a feeling that a lot of you felt the same. So I'm gonna go ahead and review this for you guys. So like I said, a little bit quicker of a video not super intense, but I will share with you guys my thoughts. So first off, the notes for gingerbread milkshake. Online they read gingerbread cookie, caramel swirl, maple, and vanilla bean. To me, I don't really get all of those scent notes. Um, to me, it's more of like a smooth vanilla scent and that kind of like spicy gingerbread is more of an afterthought. So I will overlay some footage of this one burning while I'm talking just cute just so you guys can kind of like see what it looks like when burning. But this one to me is really more of a soft, creamy, milky vanilla. So if you've ever smelled any of those sort of um, like ice cream kind of scents from Bath and Body Works, that's really what it is similar to. It has like a milky substance to it, which I think comes from that vanilla. And for me, it has burned really, really well. And for me, the gingerbread is more of an afterthought. So really, when I first initially smell it, and I've been bringing this in my open concept, um, my second floor is like totally open, living room, dining room, kitchen. So it's a pretty big space and it does throw really well. Um, but really, I get mostly vanilla and then just a little bit of the spicy notes near the end. But I do get like a little bit of a caramel note as well. Almost like it was a very faint gingerbread milkshake with whipped cream and then they drizzled some caramel on top. That's really what it smells like. It's a beautiful candle, beautiful scent. The throw I would say is more of like a six out of 10. It's not super strong, but it's definitely not something that you can't smell. I would give it a six just because in my open concept, it still performs really well, but it's not very strong. I think it's just because it's a vanilla scent. It's not gonna be that strong anyways, but she's definitely trying. And I will say it does get these huge mushroom top wicks. So I do have to clip those. Um, before I burn them just to make sure there's no extra sitting going on. But so far, um, I would say there is a little bit of sitting going on. I think Goose Creek candles just sit naturally anyways. Um, it's not a problem for me. I really don't care that much, but you can see on the inside, there is like a little bitty bit of soot, but honestly not a lot. Nothing that I would, you know, try and crock it over, but it does kind of sit a little bit. So if that's something you don't like, I would put this on either a candle lamp or inside of a candle crock. But yeah, it does have a great burn though. It pulls out evenly and it looks really pretty in this gorgeous packaging, which I didn't even show you guys a close up of this packaging, but I really do like this because this can be kind of year round in January and February, not just for Christmas time. But that's gingerbread milkshake. That's pretty much the whole review. Like I said, six out of 10 on throw. Great, beautiful, milky vanilla with gingerbread as an afterthought. And I really think it's a wonderful candle. I wouldn't say it's anything that I would repurchase, but I am really enjoying it and I do like it. So that is gingerbread milkshake from Goose Creek. And that's everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know down below if you have been burning any Goose Creek candles lately, what are they? I'm interested to hear what you've got going in your house. But yeah, that's everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.